Folks, your OS reviews, you're watching our video review of the Suction Hands-Free Bluetooth Speaker. This one retails on Amazon for under 35 bucks, which is a little bit expensive for a small Bluetooth speaker. However, it does have a pretty unique design. There are four micro suction cups that allows you to place your smartphone onto it, or even a smaller tablet. It holds the phone or tablet into place and allows you to listen to music, browse the web, and view videos more comfortably. This is also a stereo speaker with speakers on both sides, despite a very compact and small design. It comes in multiple different colors, you can see, so you can customize it to your liking. There's also an embedded microphone, so you can make hands-free calls with it. It charges using a micro USB uh, port, and it fully charges in about two hours. There's also an audio cable included if you don't want to use Bluetooth with a de dedicated MP3 player, and it automatically goes to sleeping mode after you don't use it for a while. So in terms of the design of the packaging, we have a pretty good box. You can also give this as a gift, I would say. And on the inside, you have access to a funky-looking micro USB cable that's Scion Blue. Uh, it works pretty nicely, and there's also a included auxiliary cable if you don't want to use Bluetooth. And finally, you have the Bluetooth speaker itself. There are no instruction manuals inc included inside of the packaging. The entire speaker is constructed out of a soft touch material, which makes it extremely easy to grip with the grills that houses the speakers on both sides crafted out of metal, so the construction quality is definitely top notch. The actual speaker itself sits nicely on any desk or surface without sliding around. The only thing I'm not too keen on is the generic brand on the side here. I think that the company should have embedded their logo on here, but you can see it just says brand, which is a little bit awkward. With that being said, the micro suction cups do a nice job of holding your phone into place. And on the side here, you have access to a power on off switch. There's also an LED that will illuminate and show you uh, when the speaker has been turned on and is currently trying to pair or find a connection. There's also a micro USB tip here for charging a auxiliary input, and on the other side, you have access to a answer slash reject call for using it as a speakerphone. There's also dedicated controls for the volume. There isn't any way for you to pause or stop the music, so that's one limitation to this particular design, but overall I think that it has a pretty solid hardware going for it. Next I'm going to show you how to pair and place a phone onto the See here the name of the Bluetooth speaker is actually the Hichi S5, which is kind of interesting, but otherwise the pairing process is incredibly simple and now we're ready to go. To place your phone onto it, it will support even curved phones like the LG G Flex, which I am happy about. Um, for example, I'm just going to place this on top and start the music. Apply a little bit of pressure and you can see that it stays in place quite nicely, it's not going to drop either. It provides a nice stand for you to watch videos, browse the web with, and it's quite comfortable as well. So it's a nice uh, feature that I really haven't seen on some other Bluetooth speakers. Music pumps out of both sides of the speaker and it's actually going to get pretty loud as well in terms of the volume. As far as Bluetooth speakers go, I was impressed with the overall quality that you're getting out of this. It's quite clear, there's not too much distortion in the background. And if I turn the volume all the way up, I'm going to show you how loud the speaker can get. So it definitely can fill up smaller spaces or parties or other events quite nicely. Uh, if you're using it for those purposes, it does a pretty good job. The micro suction cubs also don't leave too much of a mark, which is good. Now, one disappointing facet though is if your particular smartphone doesn't have a very slick surface or if you have a case that's already been installed on it, it's going to be more difficult to attach your product onto these suction cups. You can also put a little bit of water onto it to ensure that the connection between the phone and the speaker is more tight. I'm impressed with the microphone and speakerphone quality of this Bluetooth speaker. If you use in public though, there is no noise cancellation for the microphone, so it's going to pick up some background sounds. However, in the office or in the home, it works nicely. At the end of the day, I have to say that the hands-free mini Bluetooth speaker is an excellent value. For 35 bucks, it presents a design that I haven't seen before. It has a top-notch construction quality. Sound quality is excellent. The bass could be a tad louder. With that being said, the suction cups is something that's really nice for holding your phone and also using it as a stand. Battery life lasted us roughly eight hours or so on a continuous loop, which is good, and it fully charges in under two hours, so it's also quite quick to fully charge. To check out more information about this Bluetooth speaker, be sure to read our full written review. This has been our video. Thank you for watching your OS reviews.